Hey guys, how are you today? I'm just going to do a review, guys, on my propane Coleman single burner stove. Just out here today at a park. Now I'm just going to. I've had this stove, guys, now for, geez, guys, well over two years. Um, I think I bought it on. It was on a special at Anaconda. It was about 40 bucks, I think, or 30 bucks. I can't quite remember. Now all you got is this. I suppose it, it is quite bulky, so it takes the portability out of it, I guess. But guys, you can put a huge pan on these things. Like that's a 33 centimetre pan. And that takes that easy. Quite easy. Usually we go to a say we go to a park and the barbecues are full. I fire this thing up, chuck the pan on, do our snags, our onions on here. It's not too bad. Or we boil the kettle, we chuck the kettle on, boil that. Anyway, I'll show you how it goes together. You get this stem piece, and this thing screws into the side. Sorry about the mowers going, guys. They're mowing, they're doing some mowing around here. Okay, now, guys, these bottles, these can get quite expensive if you're using these. Say you're going on a camping trip, you're better off. You can get the adapter hoses for these. One end. One end of the hose goes into this part here. And then the other end you can get, it's a pole fitting guys, you can put into a four and a half kilo, a nine kilo gas bottle. And, and that takes the need out of buying these. And these can get very, very expensive. I think um, these are about $13 if you go to BCF. And if you're trying to buy these guys, Big W, I think they are the cheapest for $9, I think. Um, just quietly, you can fill these, but it's illegal. You can fill them. I won't show you how to fill them. There's the adapter that you can purchase off eBay if you want to fill them, but I won't show you that, like I said, but there it is there. You can get the adapters. I think these are around 20 bucks. The little cylinders, these go for about three hours, guys. Once you have these portable, I think they're half a kilo. They're one pound. And these guys are just a right-hand thread. Screw it on firmly. Okay, you can just, um, just check for leaks. Make sure there's no leaks in it. I've never had a leak. In this thing, guys, in, in a couple of years I've had it, I've never had a leak. As long as you screw the bottle on firmly, as long as you screw this on, it's just careful if the O-ring washes are worn, it will leak, but I've never had a leak. You can use the um, Irish leak detector. <laughs> just joking. You can smell it, guys, if it leaks. You will smell it, because it stinks. So if it does leak, you will smell it. I'll turn that on. That's going now. Only thing with these guys, the wind kills them. That's actually on, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but it's on flat out. I'll turn that off. All right. If you go down to the beach, guys, just make yourself up something out of plywood, out of sheet metal, aluminium, whatever you got laying around. Make yourself up a windshield. So, you make up one of them, that's all you need. Get yourself a windshield, go to the toilet doors at home, pinch your hinges, just kidding, and make yourself up just a wind deflector, guys. Just make something up that will fold up. You can buy these, but like I said, you can just make them yourself. We use this stove. We had one of those, um, I haven't got one with me now, one of them canisters. You get them little butane stoves. We had one of those, but the cartridges didn't last as long as these do. They're not bad, we had one, but this one seems to put out more heat. But as I said, you get a gas bottle, you go on camping, get yourself a hose, and run these off a gas bottle. Because I usually do that in the caravan, we are camping. I'd run this off the big gas bottle off the front of the caravan. I'll just unscrew this. I'll give you a closer look at this stove. I'll just take this. Okay, I'll take this back off. Now, 
And that's it, you pack it away. That's how you undo it. Okay, I'll give you a close look at the stove. There's the front of it. And that's your knob. You just turn it on, turn it off. It's quite big, guys. You will put a big pot on this. It's quite big. Of course, once you turn it off, don't do what I'm doing because this thing will get very hot. You have to let it cool down before you put pack it away. That's around and that's underneath. It's quite a simple little stove. And that's where your fitting screws into. And inside there, there'll be a piece of rubber. So if that's worn, of course it's gonna leak. But as I said, after two years, guys, if this thing's still going strong, we use it all the time on the roadside. Say for instance, you come to a park, out in the bush, we use it quite a bit, guys. So yeah, it's not a bad little stove. It's really, really good. These are pricey, if you're buying these all the time. If you're doing road trips, these are great. Just take them with you. Instead of carrying a big gas bottle with you, you can just cut this. You'll get three hours out of this on high. So they're not too bad. All right, guys, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.